Hey guys, my name is Chris Martin with the Crane Rental Minute. Today we're going to be talking about line pull and parts of line. Um, two slightly basically similar topics. Uh, I got my Link Belt 3275 ATC 3275 275 ton all terrain crane here uh, showcasing uh, you know our our uh, our hook here. Uh, we have Chloe being uh, Chloe to our right here. But there's a lot of things moving around. She wants to hit this and stuff with her paws, so I'm going to shoo her away for now. So in our little model here, we have four parts of line. Now, a part of line um, basically is how many... So you have your main drum back here, your main um, hoist drum or your main wire rope drum back here. Then you have your auxiliary, right? We're having some auxiliary hoist issues, so we have our headache ball over here. But only one wire or one uh, strand of wire rope comes from that drum, goes to your top, and then gets reeved in your block, depending on how much you're trying to pick. Because we have something called line pull and parts of line. So, first off, if you're trying to pick something that's, let's say, 50,000 pounds, and this has um, the th ATC325 on the layer one wrap of the drum can pull about 22,000 pounds. So you're not gonna be able to pull uh, the 50,000 pounds, even though you are in charge and capable of, uh, if you have enough rock or counterweight to do it, you're not gonna be able to pull it. So you're gonna have to come down into two parts, get 44,000, and I said 50,000, so you're still not gonna have to do it. So you're gonna have to come into three parts or four parts of line and depending on how that uh, wrap, you know, how much that uh, is on the drum, you know, how many wraps are taken off from your drum could lead to lower line pull. So layer two on a 32 ATC 3275 is about 20,000 pounds of line pull. Um, on the third wrap, it's 18,000, fourth wrap, 17,000, fifth wrap, 15, seven. And on the sixth layer or wrap, uh, it's 14,600 pounds of line pull. So you can see how it uh, gets, it decreases over time because you have more cable coming out, right? So that drum has a certain capacity of line pull and it has so much uh, line already out that it you know, decreases as uh, the layers unwrap. So let's just say for example's sake, uh, this is 22,000 pounds of line pull. I have a 50,000 pound load, um, you know, I'm going to need more than one wrap of line to do this. I'm actually need three or more. Um, maybe to make it nice like this is you just roll with four. You'd come three parts of line down and then dead end uh, uh, to your top there. To your top, to your boom section or your uh, boom tip. Actually, sorry, I'm speaking uh, a little bit wrong here. You'd actually come maybe back down to your load block and dead end there for a four part. So four parts at 22,000 would give us uh, 88,000, yeah, 88,000 uh, pounds of line pull. So if I had a 50,000 pound load, I could do it with 88,000, but I'm not going to be able to do it with one, um, one part of line because that one part's only capable of 22,000. My load's 50, it's just not gonna do it. The drum won't be able to uh, uh, pull that. But when I, add more parts of line, it's like a pulley effect. I increase how much I can pull because every part of line is basically able to pull that 22,000 pounds depending, assuming that I'm still on the first wrap on my drum, right? Now as your, as your drum uh, unwraps, like I said, uh, those different layers, you're in different line pulls on those different layers. Typically that, that uh, line pull decreases over the layers. So, uh, that is just a quick segment on line pull and parts of line. It's actually pretty interesting how you can compound forces by adding more parts of line. This is a small um, hook block. They have sister hook blocks. Uh, you may see bigger or larger cranes with, you know, 10 uh, sheaves inside that hook block. And you have hook block weights and they just turn crazy. Um, because of how many parts of line they need to actually pull, 
you know, this object off the ground. So it's not just one parts of line. It's gonna handle everything. And maybe as an outsider looking in, that may be an assumption you make, but as a probably professional in industry, you know uh, that line pull, you know, depends on how many parts of line you have. But guys, this is our ATC 3275, 275 ton all-terrain link belt crane. We're doing the link belt thing today or this week. Last week we were supporting Mantuak um, and our Grove crane. But that's basically line pull um, and parts of line. I thought maybe I would be able to talk a little bit more about it, but it's actually just kind of that simple. Depending on how many parts of line will equal how many how much load you can hoist up, and your drum can only hoist so many pounds, in this case on layer 1, 22,500 pounds, right? So to get this 50,000 pound X off the ground, I'm gonna to have to compound how many 22,500 pound lines I have connected to my hook block. And like I said, I could do it with three, but to make it pretty, I'd probably roll four uh, dead end of my hook block. Um, so guys, this is your crane rental minute talking about parts of line and hook block, kind of a double header. And they kind of are the same topic. So figured I'd throw those in there together and uh, share those with you. All right, guys, I will see you later. Once again, my name is Chris Marm from the CraneRentalBlog.net. Um, you can find us there, comment there, or just comment in the YouTube videos here. Or if you're listening to us, hey, just uh, send us a, a shout um, on our social, like the YouTube page or the CraneRentalBlog.net website. You can check us out there. All right, guys, I am signing off. We'll talk to you later. See you next episode. Bye.